5.30 CBS 4 News has learned that an accused cyber predator charged with coercing girls for sex has been charged with the same crime before. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has been looking into the 18-year-old's background, and he is live from Homestead High with the details. Gary? Well, this Homestead High School student was hauled up yesterday on charges of delivering online threats and coercing sex from two students, teenagers, fellow students here at Homestead. I have learned he has been charged with doing precisely the same thing before. Terry Fenelon. Terry Fennelin, an 18-year-old student here at Homestead High School, is, prosecutors say, a vile, conniving sexual predator. According to this arrest affidavit, Fennelin used the messenger app Kick to coerce sex from two fellow students, 15 and 16 years old. He got the 15-year-old police say to send him a nude photo of herself by threatening to harm her family, said he knew the school bus stop for her young niece. He found a compromising photo of the 16-year-old and said he'd send it to her dad if she didn't give him sex. Both girls, investigators say, fearful, performed sex acts on Fenelon at the school campus. We know this is happening. We know this is not a unique, isolated incident. So we want very much for other victims on this case with this person to come forward. Indeed, a CBS 4 News search of court records shows this arrest report by Miami-Dade police last month. Fennelin charged with using the same online coercive MO to force another 15-year-old to twice perform a sex act on him here at his homestead house where he lived with his parents. No one answered the door today at Homestead High. I think it's really scary. It's, it's scary to know that you have certain people like that around you. Like, I didn't expect to hear, like, from my school, you know, going to a school like this. You know, Homestead's a good school. I don't, you don't expect it. Investigators say two of the three known victims helped their predator by first posting compromising photos of themselves. Good afternoon, sir. A very bad afternoon, actually, for this accused serial sex offender ordered held without bond. And again, uh, prosecutors and police are convinced there are more victims out there who may or may not be fellow students, and they are being urged to come forward to police or school counselor. We are live in Homestead. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.